it was maybe the first instance in my life where all this triggered a real sense of mortality. I mean, mm -hmm. this poem sort of goes there at the very last stanzas, that sense of the lack of human agency. I mean, things change, and the world will change, and doesn't give a hoot about you. Mm -hmm. Your father's your gone. Your father's gone, your mom's you gone. You proud of him. Yeah. Rather than, I was wondering about that detail, rather than embarrassed as you were. Right, as right. A <laughs> Time moves on, and in some way it's a, class, it's a classical theme of that, of that of, of that kind of time flies, you know, time moves on, Mutability. things change. Yeah, so, that puts you back in the classic yeah. tradition of poem right. to write formal verse, right? right. We, we write to keep, yeah. to keep things. And, and the other thing about sort of readership, though, which is interesting to me, was getting back to that mirror effect a little bit, but often people ask me who are your influences or whatnot, and they expect me to mouth off every Latino poet that has ever existed, <laughs> and Neruda, and Jose Martin, and I'm like, oh, it's like two American poets, I mean, and this is sort of this presumption that because you, you write, you are from a certain culture, that you can only look towards inspiration, towards that culture, or that, mm. that kind of writing. And, and there is, and I'm not dismissing that, because that Latino writers have given me incredible sort of incredible permission and, and, and I do see myself in that mirror a lot and is what let me write and I gave, my, gave myself permission to write. Um, but at the same time, I also think that it's so much more powerful when you see yourself in the mirror of a poem where you don't expect to see yourself. Mm -hmm. This is a poem of working something out. Yeah. Um, in written in just the form that many English poets no, Words yeah, were not say, yeah, Latino yeah, yeah. either. Yeah. No, the, the, the romantics actually, I consider myself in some ways a belated romantic. I, that yes. was the first, I went from engineering school, that was my first graduate course, was the romantics. And I walked what, uh, in, I walked into it. this course and I was like, oh my God, I haven't written a sentence, in, a complete sentence in three years. <laughs> um, but, um, it, it is the three part in and some way. I mean, you're making me think right now. I hadn't thought about it, but it is actually sort of the three part conversation, right? A, a present moment triggers a memory, and then A plus B. What, how is kind of what's a synthesis? The conclusion? Yeah. Yes, there's a dialectic. We might even say we'll probably cut that right out. It's way too pretentious. No, but there's a, thi there's a thinking through, and yeah. this is that you find the form of thinking, the English form of thinking, and you have access to it just as much as yeah. anyone does who who learns the language and the culture. That's the beauty of um, poetry, literacy yeah. and of poetry. But you weren't thinking of the form when you were writing, were you? <laughs> not no, not in that particular. No. It just makes me think about it. I teach it all the time yeah, right. as, a, yeah. as, a, as a sort of a form, as a sort of a model of how you have all this information, all this emotion, all this sensory detail, and then like somehow we have to find a way to shape that. And, and of course, there's other modes that we can think about. but. But, <laughs> but, you know, but, but, you, but you as a poet, I think, you really internalize the form yeah. so that you're not thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going to write in this form. Exactly. Yeah. You, you, you write in the forms inside you, and therefore yeah. you write but in that way. But at some point, students, uh, it's very frequently the case that a teacher will say, write it in blank verse, and there could be something quite, okay, blank verse is iambic pentameter, and you can write right through the end of the line. Try it. You write about your return to a place you loved and all what your parents mm -hmm. brought that embarrassed you in the lobby, and try it in blank verse, and now try it in a four, in, in rhyming quatrains. Right, and, and see what happens. See what, see what happens. Yeah. The form changes. Yeah, you, you internalize it, and then also... Um, but I always, I always, when I tell students, you know, there's always this mystique around writing, also sort of like, you know, it just comes from above, or like, and it either happens or doesn't happen. And the truth is, writing like every human endeavor, like being a great engineer, takes a lot of instinct and, and, and training, but you internalize design work, right? And, and, so, and you just sit down and you right. just kind of move your Pen and across you, the paper and it's something. rehearsing, and I always mm -hmm. say a dancer or a football player. I mean, you rehearse, you practice, you get out there, but you're not always, you know, the quarterback isn't always thinking, you know, how am I going to hold that ball again? Where, <laughs> Do I really where, feel where, it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the same time, they could have like a great game, and the next game could could stink, right? And so we always never we never have a hold on it. We just rehearse, practice, make mistakes, 
get up, dust ourselves again, <laughs> yes. and get on the field again, so to speak, or on the dance floor, or back to the drawing board, literally I, I as an do engineer. Love, I do love the way you've reminded us of all the other disciplines in which people work, where the intuition, the spontaneity, the inspiration has to come somewhere, but it often comes in the middle of practicing your free right. throw, or <laughs> working on your, you know, bunt. Right, you know, right. it doesn't come, or drawing, doing technical drawings. It doesn't right. always just come welling up, as Wordsworth says, you know, spontaneous overflow of emotion. It's not always that. It just teaches you what to do when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> how, how to get the most out of it when that happens. Because you hadn't practiced. That's a beautiful way. If you hadn't practiced, then it would be like, well, what do well, I do with all that? this? <laughs> I'm very inspired, but I don't have... I don't have a ball to throw, or I don't have, you know, I don't have my dance shoes. I don't even know how to put them on, right? Exactly.